in that hole. In Pretty this likely. black hole that we've been digging around looking for mud salamanders. That is not a mud salamander, guys. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. Listen to that noise. <laughs> Stick your finger in there. All right, guys, well, it was a great start to the day, but I am currently en route to our next spot where we are going to be looking for mud salamanders. Uh, this species down here is the Florida, or the uh, I think they're called the Rusty Mud Salamanders, the common name, uh, Pseudotriton montanus fl or floridana. So um, it's a subspecies of the mud salamander I've never found before, so hopefully we'll have some luck. I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, this moss-laden area that we're in right now is hopefully the habitat of the uh, rusty mud salamander. So we're going to dig around here a bit, flip some logs, dig through some muck, see if we can turn one up. All right, guys, well, we were walking over here and uh, I hear a squeak out of the, the corner of my ear. Is that an appropriate saying? January alligator. I look over and Dirk dives on this baby alligator. Look at that. Of course, Dirk here is permitted to be holding such an animal. Normally you can't catch these guys, but look at that. Absolutely adorable. <laughs> Oh dear. You getting to... attached, Dirk? Yes. <laughs> it's likely she's in that hole. In this likely. black hole that we've been digging around looking for mud salamanders. That is not a mud salamander, guys. <laughs> Hate to break it to you. Listen to that noise. <laughs> Stick your finger in there. Yeah, I really do. It's hey, cold enough that, that she wouldn't even be surfacing today. Imagine just walking out through here and seeing like a, a 10 foot female alligator just chilling in the woods right by this tiny little hole. And no, you, I'm sure you know this. These holes can extend such that there could be an air pocket like right where I'm standing. Yeah. It looks like the bottom is stirred up too. Like there's definitely a a lot of action down there. Oh my God, that's amazing. Ever accidentally just find an alligator while looking for salamanders? Georgia things. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. This guy is not happy. All right, bud, let's let you go. All right, little guy, go find your mom. Stay warm, buddy. All right, guys, we're gonna let this beautiful little rusty mud salamander we found go. This is my second subspecies of mud salamander, lifer for Tim and I. And uh, we're just gonna let him go and work our way back to the car and maybe we'll be able to turn up another one in the seat, we'll see. But second lifer for the day for me and uh, definitely something that we were looking forward to seeing, so. It's been great. All right, buddy. It's really unfortunate that the pigs is true this place up so bad. Yeah. All right, guys, I am currently chilling in the car here on the side of the road because we have arrived at the location of our next target. We're going to be looking for Brinley's chorus frogs. I hear them calling in the distance, so they're out. We're going to go see if we can track one down. Um, we might have to use a technique where we play a call and then see if we can get them to call back. And then as we get closer and closer to them, we might be able to find one. But, um... Anyways, that'll be our last target for the day, and I will probably combine yesterday and today into this video. It might be a little bit long. Um, might even divide it into two videos. I'm not sure yet. But um, tomorrow, we are heading north into South Carolina, where I'm in South Carolina now. But tomorrow, we're going to spend the full day in South Carolina, hoping to see maybe salamanders and spotted turtles. So I don't know how well you guys can hear that, but... All right, guys, I was walking down by the edge of the pond and spotted this guy swimming around. Figured I'd net him for you. But uh, the first herp we've seen after dark, this is a little eastern, I think, newt. We're getting pretty close to the range of broken stripes, so it could be one of those, too. But it doesn't really have the typical characteristics of either, so... Strange-looking newt either way. Gonna put it back in the water and keep trying for coarse frogs. So we just checked our field guide and turns out I was wrong on both counts. This is a central newt. I did not know the range of them came over here, but pretty interesting nonetheless.
grumpy little wolf spider. Whoa! I've never seen one really get that angry over nothing before. Normally you can pick them up. <laughs> Look at those fangs, dude. It's gnarly. All right, guys, after much suffering and frustration, I finally managed to spot and capture a Brimley's Chorus Frog. This is uh, the second one I... There's one, there's multiple calling right here where we're photographing after we've walked around this entire pond multiple times. Anyways, I found one earlier and it got away while I was trying to catch it. And now we have this guy who's being uncooperative. Anyways, pretty cool little frogs. These guys range along the Atlantic coast in the Carolinas, pretty much. And this is only the second one I've ever seen. So we're gonna photograph him and let him go. Good morning, everyone from coastal South Carolina. I'm currently on my way to a location where I'm going to be looking for some pretty cool salamanders that are endemic to the Atlantic coast. And hopefully we'll turn up some cool stuff. But for now, check out the view. Anyways, I'll keep you guys posted and I will check in with you guys when I get to the site I'm heading to. Alright guys, we are out here in this longleaf pine forest in this ephemeral pond. Uh, it has a lot of grass and a lot of briars. And we're basically walking around the edges of these looking for logs to flip for the maybe salamander. And uh, we're in pretty prime habitat right now. We just gotta find the right micro habitat that facilitates actually finding one. So I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, first tarp of the day is this little pine woods tree frog we found flipping logs. No salamanders yet, but we're on the board. All right, finally some decent looking logs. Hasn't been here too long. All right, guys, so we were walking around this pond. This is the third one I think we've hit today. And uh, haven't had much luck with salamanders, but I did just get another lifer. This guy right here is a juvenile carpenter frog. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the, uh, the stripes on his back, but absolutely awesome. This is my last species of frog I needed to see native to Georgia. Uh, we are in South Carolina now, but the species list for Georgia is now complete for me. I just have to see him up. I just have to see them all within the state boundary, so, okay. Well guys, we've been here for hours. Slips tons of perfect logs like this and have not seen the first salamander. So we're gonna give this one a try and be faced with certain disappointment. At long last, we have found a salamander. It is most likely a marble salamander larvae, but there are salamanders here, and it's only taken us all day to find one larval. All right, guys, we are at what is probably our last uh, spot and last chance for maybe salamanders today. Uh, we're going to go walk around and flip some logs. It's looking kind of bleak. Uh, that last spot looked great. We flipped a ton of logs, didn't see anything really, so kind of getting frustrated here. We'll see. All right, guys, we have found our first, I think this is the first adult salamander we've seen all day, a little uh, dwarf salamander, Eurycia quadridigitata. A pretty dull looking individual, not much to look at or say about, but I mean, it's a salamander. Put him back under his log and keep hoping for a maybe eye. Oh, oh, there we go. Tim has just flipped our target, the maybe salamander right there in C2. You get a better look at this one. All right, guys, here is a bit of a better lit look at this beautiful little maybe salamander. As far as maybe salamanders go, she's a bit on the dull side, but a very healthy animal, possibly has eggs, and even has a weird little extra toe there on her uh, front leg. So absolutely awesome. Great way to round out the day. Uh, we definitely struggled to find this one a bit, so it was awesome when Tim managed to flip one. Uh, but we're going to put her right back under her log and let her be and hope that she has a successful reproductive season and makes more maybe eye for this awesome little pond. All right, letting this go, girl go back under her log. Really good log over here. I see it. This is another little dwarf salamander. I'm just gonna put him back real quick. I'm just gonna 
walk around and see if scare one out of the grass. A little bit more, uh, maybe salamander habitat. Let's up a log real quick. Nobody home. It's a good looking one though. All right, guys, just found our next salamander of the day. This guy right here is a mole salamander. Uh, superficially looks pretty similar to the maybe salamander, but this guy has a much larger head and is more stoutly built overall. You can see he's kind of got a round bulldog head. But pretty cool. First one of these guys that I've seen in South Carolina, I believe. I'm going to get a few quick photos of this guy and put him back under his log. Here's another dwarf salamander in C2. It's like the fourth or fifth one of the day. All right, guys. Tim and I are back at our cars. We uh, we got our target for the day. Amistoma maybe. I quite literally took all day, though. And uh, we've got a beautiful sunset here in the Longleaf about to go down. Saw some red cockaded woodpeckers. And uh, all around a pretty great end to the day. But we're going to drive up tonight to the North Carolina Sandhills region and uh, crash there, get up in the morning and look for some lifer species out there too. So I will see you guys in the morning.